Hello, girls and guys! I'm Coet, and I know that you've been all eagerly anticipating to see Carl's Johnson. Carl Johnson. And for that reason, it gives me great pleasure to announce the start of the second season in Carl's adventures throughout the state of San Andreas. We are currently in CJ's house at uh, Santa Maria Beach. It's a beautiful house, nice boombox as well. But let's actually go outside and enjoy the fresh summer morning breeze. Ooh. Look at that, the ladies have already taken to the beaches looking for uh, some sun and perhaps even some romance, so, uh... Hey, baby. Take a bath or something. Move on, bitch. Yeah. What are you doing? The ladies are insulting us. Oh, no! <laughs> Run, CJ! Look, her boyfriend is after us as well. Oh, man. I'm gonna try to give you a quick rundown of what happened in the first season. Basically, uh, CJ came back to the city and found his buddies from uh, the Grove Street families, which is his uh, gang, in disarray because uh, the uh, opposing gangs have started to take over the city. So what we had to do was to fight our way inch by inch in order to uh, regain, fully regain possession of all territories in the city. So I'm now happy to say that uh, the entire city, all of the gang areas, belong to us, belong to the Grove Street families. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, nice. We've also uh, been assaulted by uh, a couple of police officers uh, s numerous times, really. And um, we also uh, had to rescue some people by pretending to be paramedics. But uh, things are starting to look up for CJ because... Uh, first off, let's get a chili dog. And speaking of chili dogs, yes, as you can see in season one, he uh, put on some weight. He was a bit skinny when uh, he came to back to the city, and uh, uh, some of his gang fellows uh, made fun of him. And uh, CJ tends to uh, take these things to heart, you know. And uh, yes, it's, so it wasn't all that bad for CJ. He also got a, a girlfriend, and. He rescued her from a fire, and she more or less imposed herself onto uh, onto CJ. See, that's what happens. That's how they get you. You know, you're just mind your own business. And one day, your phone rings, and a beautiful-looking voice <laughs> says, "I want you to come over to my place." And, and you're confused, you know. So you start asking all sorts of questions, like, "Who are you? And where do you live? <laughs> and uh, it's your girlfriend, you fool." Yeah, but. Uh, in any case, I'm very happy to be back, guys, and uh, to, uh, to Carl, it might have been just one night, but we know better, don't we? <laughs> yes, the city looks beautiful, and uh, the traffic is as bad as it always was. <laughs> However, we're going to talk to Sweep, because uh, he's the only guy we can talk to right now, and we are about to strike a decisive blow against the ballers. And also run over some some of these guys because they shouldn't be here. I pretty much took care of. Hey, lady, don't jump in front of the motorbike. I pretty much took care of all of the opposing gangs, so they shouldn't have been there. And look, there are my homies. What up, homies? Yeah. <laughs> so right now, uh, Sweet has a plan for striking a decisive blow against the Ballers. The Ballers was the biggest gang, biggest opposing gang, before we came to the city. Let me just park this in the garage. Yeah, uh, that should be good. Let's also uh, take some money. What up, homies? What up, dog? Yeah! Man, what is those, man? You look G'd up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, for sure, baby. I'm gonna come through and pick you up. Yeah, we're gonna go and pick up Denise a bit later after we take care of uh, this business we have here with Sweet. So this is it. This is when we show the ballers what banging is all about. Yeah, yeah. Grove Street is king. Say it with me, niggas. Grove Street is king. Grove Street is king. Hey, sorry, bro. I got caught up. 
Yeah, you probably was hitting one of them ball of rats. Yeah, I know what you was up to, nigga. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know it. Listen up. Y'all down with CJ, right? Yeah. Of course. He's been through a lot. I mean, we all been through a lot. But CJ's helping us clear up the hood. He's taking a fight to the enemy. Yeah. He us how he used to bang. Yeah. Oh. What used to mean to be a grown street family. That's right. CJ, you my brother. My running dog. I should have never doubted it. It's nothing. But you're home now, partner. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Oh. The show. Listen up. I want all y'all to go get heated. And meet me downtown under the Mahullin intersection. We're going to roll on these baller motherfuckers. Yeah. All right, all right. I see y'all in traffic. Yeah, let's roll. Yeah, yeah. for sure. You in? Hell yeah, I'm in. I'm your running dog, sweet. Yeah, my nigga. All right, you go get heated up. And I'll meet you at the crossroads. Okay. Oh, Denise. I told you I'm gonna pick pick you up later. Hey, hey, CJ, it's Caesar, man. I'm kind of busy now. Some big going down. Essie, I gotta see you, Holmes. Tell you something. Look, if it's about Kendall, don't worry. We cool, all right? No, CJ, you gotta come and see something. Something important, eh? Well, it's gonna have to wait. This can't wait, Holmes. If I tell you, you won't believe it, Essie. I swear. Ah, uh, okay. I got about five, so it better be good. Where you at? I'm under the freeway, north side of Vernon Bluffs. What's going on over there? <laughs> What's happening? Who's driving this car? Oh, you know what? This is some paranormal activity here. <laughs> Beautiful. Things like this can only happen in Los Santos. This is why I love this city. Yes. Now, all of the areas, uh, or rather, all that green tint you can see on the minimap is, uh, symbolizes the fact that all these neighborhoods, all of the streets are ours. All of the neighborhoods which uh, can be uh, taken over by gangs, because there are some neighborhoods which are pretty good or pretty well protected. Uh, by uh, the authorities and stuff like that and uh, the gangs don't dare to go in there but uh, who knows that might change car is this it <laughs> sanitary okay there we go So you dragged me way across town to see what? Just in time, is it? Take a good hard look over there. Hmm. So some ballers hanging around a dope spot. So what? Just watch, homie. What the? What the fuck? Hey, Carl. What's the language? Oh no! Shit, smoke. What you into? Shh, that's it. Look at that ride. That's the motherfucking green saber. I can't believe this. <laughs> Shit, smoke? Crash making you sell us out? Moms! Sorry, is it? I heard a rumor and poked around. I didn't believe it myself, but... Nah, nah, you did the right thing. Thanks. I owe you, C's. I gotta go tell Sweet about... Oh, crap. Oh, fuck! Sweet! Look, go get Kendall and take her to a safe place. What you thinking? It's sweet. I think him and the homies is walking into a trap. Just go. Go! Ambush. Crap. Oh, man. I trusted those guys. Oh, man. I gotta warn Sweet. Move it. Damn it, sweet. Pick up. Pick up. Hey, what's up? You call me, but I ain't pick it up. So leave a message after the Shit, shit, shit. Okay, he's definitely in trouble, guys. Well, either that or he forgot to recharge his his battery or something. But Whoa! Flew over some guys. And did we flip our flipping wheels? Yes, we have. 
Move it, Carl. No, we haven't. Oh, man. But we're very close. This is where uh, Sweet said uh, we should meet him. Ballers. Okay, let's... Let's try to... Clean the the area a bit. That's very kind of you. Hello. Sweet. Hey, sweet man, you all right? You've been hit. CJ, where you been? Caesar called and showed me some shit. It's smoke, and he in deep with ten penny and some balls. He sold us out. It doesn't matter, man. You gotta get out of here. The cops gonna ride in a second. Nah, man. I ain't running out on my brother. Yo, boy! I'm taking you, motherfucker. You hear me? I'm taking you all down, bitches! That's the spirit. Come on. Okay. Cops are after us. What's that? Oh. Where are they going? Ooh. Take that. Okay. Who is shooting? Oh man. Crap. Get those guys. Crappity crap crap. My name is Paul Johnson. Oh, you guys. Whoa. Run, Carl. Run. Oh, man. I hope Sweet is all right. We've just started Season 2, and this is already a disaster. You got a bag over your head, boy. How you feel about that? Man, take it off! Please, man! I can't breathe! Please! Oh, alright. But only because you said please. Fucking sick motherfucker. Intimidate those who intimidate others, Carl. It's my job. Right, Ed? <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, where we at? The middle of fucking nowhere. Nice, clean air. Fucking smoke. Oh, sweet. Sweet is alive. Alive and inside. He's in a prison hospital. Being treated for gunshot wound. A wait and try. Yeah. Somehow nobody's caught you yet. Oh, yeah. You should be glad, Carl. Your moron brother's alive. Your street trash soon to be turned out sister's alive. And she's only sucking one greaseball's dick. <laughs> you mother. Things are going pretty well for you, Carl. So behave, nigga. We want you to do a little favor for us, Carl. I can't believe that nigga Smoke turned on me. Smoke? Smoke does exactly what he's told. Ah, ah. He learned that lesson a long time Damn, ago. Damn, man. Take it yeah, easy. homies for life. Street loyalty. That's all bullshit, Carl. Didn't you learn that when they ran you out of town just because you let Brian die? Huh? Eddie, I can't deal with this guy. He's an idiot. Let me air this fucker out. No, 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 whoa, no, whoa. no, 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 officer. For once, let's let the kid do something good with this useless gonna help us with the fight against crime. Right, Carl? Yeah, by any means necessary. Now you stay the fuck away from smoke and stay the fuck away from us. Otherwise, Sweet's gonna find himself on a baller's block getting in touch with his feminine side. Hey, Hernandez, you gonna Come piss here. all day? Get your hands off me, man. For some reason, we've got a little problem with a former friend of ours. He seems to disagree with some of our methods. No, who could do that? Yeah, you'll never find anybody as forked tongues as this snake-ass bastard. Soon as he gets caught with his hand in the cookie jar, he'll whistle any tune internal affairs wants him to. 
See, they got him hiding up Mount Chiliad someplace, so they can manipulate his testimony any way they want to. I want you to pay him a little visit, Carl, and destroy all his evidence before he testifies. Sort this out, Carl, so Officer Tenpenny can sleep easy at night. Ten penis. Man, we want evidence he ain't gonna talk. All right, guys, we are in Angel Pine. I don't know where we are exactly. Well, except for the name of the place. We have a, a camera and no other weapons. And Carl is badly injured. Badly injured. So, uh, let's take a look around the place a bit. It's late night. Uh, a triple X horror special chuffed to bits. Oh, I'm. Uh, I wish I would have seen that. Unfortunately, we've missed it. I don't think it's playing at this hour. Let's go into the clock and bell. And get ourselves a meal. Clock, clock. How can I serve you? Give me... Give me something big. Something... Yeah, that's the, the clock and huge meal. Don't choke on the bone fragments. Hope you choke a doodle do. Yeah, and a medium one, please, as well. Enjoy a doodle do. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that feels better. Now, what else is there around here? There's a. A ladder going up there, but yes, we should also get some guns. Hey, flowers in the trash. Oh, that reminds me, Denise. Damn it! <laughs> What's gonna happen to Denise now? What's gonna happen to my homies? What's gonna happen to everybody? Uh, at least we have a police bribe over there, and. Ooh, you get in motel. Let's take a look at that first. Oh, there are some cars. Yeah, Carl is tired. Let's see, luxury for less clean rooms. No, luxury for, for less. Clean rooms, swimming pool, free cable TV, open 24 hours. Let me in. It's supposed to be open 24 hours. Well, okay, guys. Let's go and... There's a, a property we could potentially buy here. A house for sale. So let's go over that way. Right next to uh, this restaurant. Hey. This is what we need. And twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whew. Okay, let's see what do we have here. A nice little TV. Some food. Let's look at that. Chocolate chip cookies. And what else? A bathroom. Some, uh, some porn. <laughs> no, they're just some, uh, some books, I think. And a nice fireplace. I, I, I like this place. Uh-oh. A picture of a cat. That, that's problematic because, um, you see, uh, Carl has an Oedipus complex, which means, uh, he can't stand cats. But in any case, guys, we will be back with uh, Carl after he gets a bit of rest. And, uh, we shall see you in about six hours.